Hey guys, today we're going to be comparing Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 and discussing which one is best. These two productivity suites have revolutionized the way we work and collaborate, offering a wide array of features and functionalities. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the plans, pricing options, key features, and security aspects of both suites. Let's kick things off by exploring the plans and pricing options for both. When it comes to budgeting for a cloud solution, it's essential to consider the plans that align with your business's needs and resources. Google Workspace offers several plans, including Business Starter, Business Standard, Business Plus, and Enterprise each catering to different business requirements. And the prices you can see here are based on per user per month. Microsoft 365, on the other hand, provides plans like Business Basic, Business Standard, Business Premium, and Apps for Business, offering a mix of online and offline applications. Again, the prices here are per user per month. To make an informed decision about which plan is best for you, you'll have to assess the features and pricing structures of each plan. Now let's dive into the email suites offered by Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. Effective email communication is vital for any business, and both providers offer their unique solutions. Google Workspace provides Gmail, a widely popular and user-friendly email service. With its powerful search functionality and intuitive interface, Gmail simplifies managing and organizing emails. On the other hand, Microsoft 365 offers Outlook, a robust email program that goes beyond email management. Outlook allows you to schedule meetings, organize tasks, and stay on top of your inbox. Whilst both email services are available in browser and as mobile apps, Outlook has the benefit of also having a desktop app. Now let's explore the productivity and collaboration tools offered by both of these suites. They are both more than just email clients. They provide a comprehensive range of applications to boost productivity and enable seamless collaboration. Google Workspace includes popular applications like Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, which are web-based, easy to use, and allow real-time collaboration. Microsoft 365 offers a similar range of applications, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more, both available online and offline. Microsoft's desktop applications provide advanced features and functionality, while Google's web-based apps offer simplicity and ease of access. Assessing your team's needs and preferences will help determine the suite that aligns best with your workflow. But Google outshines Microsoft when it comes to live collaboration. Collaborating is seamless and has been built into the apps from the ground up, while in Microsoft products it is more difficult to use and not as comprehensive. Effective collaboration and communication is vital for any modern organization. Google Workspace provides Google Meet, a reliable video conferencing tool that allows you to host virtual meetings, collaborate in real time, and share screens. It seamlessly integrates with other Google services like Calendar and Drive, streamlining your workflows. Meanwhile, Microsoft has Teams, a comprehensive collaboration platform that goes beyond video conferencing. Teams allows you to chat, share files, and work collaboratively on documents all in one place. It's packed with features to enhance team productivity and streamline communication. Choosing between the two depends on factors like the size of your organization, preferred features, and integration capabilities. Now, security is a top concern when it comes to business. Both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 prioritize data security and offer robust measures to protect your organization's information. Google Workspace provides phishing and spam protection, two-factor verification, and data loss prevention capabilities. Microsoft 365 offers advanced threat detection and identity and access management features. Both platforms adhere to stringent security standards and provide options to customize security protocols based on your organization's need. Now let's talk about storage. Storage capacity is crucial, especially when dealing with large files and documents. Google Workspace offers different storage capacities based on the selected plan, ranging from 30 gigabytes with the starter plan to unlimited storage with the enterprise plan. On the other hand, Microsoft 365 provides users with one terabyte of cloud storage across most plans. Last but not least, let's talk about integration and compatibility. Both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 offer integrations with various third-party applications, enabling seamless workflows and enhanced productivity. 
Evaluating your organization's existing tools and systems will help ensure a seamless integration process with your chosen suite. Compatibility with existing workflows and tools is essential for a smooth transition. So we've covered a lot of ground in this comparison of Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. It's important to remember that this is just a general overview and there may be specific use cases and preferences that could influence your decision. Take time to assess your organization's needs, budget and priorities before making the final choice. Ultimately, both Workspace and 365 are powerful productivity suites that offer a range of features to enhance collaboration, communication and productivity. Google Workspace excels in its simplicity, cloud-based collaboration and seamless integration with other Google services. On the other hand, Microsoft 365 offers a comprehensive suite of applications, including powerful desktop versions, offline collaborations and deep integration with the Microsoft ecosystem. Remember, there is no one size fits all answer to which suite is better. It ultimately depends on your organization's unique needs and preferences. Whichever suite you choose, investing in a robust productivity suite will undoubtedly streamline your workflow, enhance collaboration and drive overall productivity.